Okay, this is a quick video just um, discussing flow speed patterns through a pipe of a fixed diameter. And there's three examples here. Um, so we've already been introduced to a non-viscous fluid, an ideal fluid. Uh, a non-viscous fluid has no viscosity. And so if a fluid is flowing through a pipe, then the fluid pattern will be the same right from the boundary from the surface all the way to the middle and back to the surface it's going to have this constant shape because there's no friction effects there's no friction there however if we have a viscous fluid then you're going to see this kind of profile um, there's going to be a zero velocity at the um, at the surfaces okay and you're going to have this boundary layer there. Remember, boundary layer is where the, the viscous effects, the viscosity effects are in play. They're significant. Okay? But in the middle of the, um, of the pipe, we've, we've still got that same velocity pattern as, as upstream. Okay? So, whereas if you now take that same viscous fluid and increase the flow, then you can see that the boundary layer is a lot thinner. The boundary layer becomes a lot thinner. And we have this kind of profile um, towards the center of the, uh, of the pipe. Okay? So please make sure you know what a boundary layer is. And um, make sure you understand this idea of a viscous fluid.